50 years ago, when people were super excited about nuclear power, we tried to put it on everything, including airplanes. There were some big operational issues that wasn't safe. Fusion is a much safer option. A next generation of airplanes that doesn't rely on fuel and can just stay aloft, unlimited range, unlimited endurance. That's what nuclear fusion can do for an airplane. So nuclear fusion is the process by which the sun works. If you take a gas and you heat it up, eventually it separates into its ions and electrons. When the ions get hot enough, they can overcome their mutual repulsion and collide, fuse into one piece. When they do that, they release a lot of energy, a million times more powerful than a chemical reaction, for example. What we're trying to do is control that reaction here on Earth. We put it in a magnetic bottle that can contain the high temperatures. You need hundreds of millions of degrees. We can release in a controlled fashion that energy. We think we have a very robust strategy going forward that has potential for success. What this concept does is it's a high beta concept, which means we use a high fraction of the magnetic field pressure. We use all of its potential. And that means we can make our device is 10 times small. So instead of a, something the size of a building, we have something the size of a large truck. The small is the reason we can do this quickly. If something's small, you can build up momentum, you can develop it fast. It doesn't take five years to design it, it takes three months. We can design it, build it, test it in under a year. We can do several of these cycles, and we think we can get to a prototype in five years. Every time you do plasma physics, you learn something new. And that's why this is a high risk, high payoff endeavor. That's what we're doing here is testing that concept out to see if it really holds the promise that it appears to. And as a defense company, our increasing mission is to enhance global security. And this is how we do that in the energy realm. The world already does 40 gigawatts of gas turbines a year. The gas line going into that gas turbine we're going to replace that with a heat exchanger coming off our fusion reactor. We basically use the gas turbine infrastructure completely. We partner with one of those companies and we ship fusion powered turbine plants around the world and we expand that technology. Gas turbines are a huge improvement over other technologies in terms of climate change, but they're only a 50% improvement. We take it all the way. So no emissions, safe operation, proliferation free, that means we can ship it to the whole world with a good conscience. Now, the old promise of atoms for peace was a noble one, but ultimately flawed because the technology wasn't right for it. We can achieve that grand vision and bring clean power to the world. The true atomic age can start. Ten years, we have great military vehicles. Twenty years, we have clean power for the world. This isn't online by 2100. This is online by the time I can't even retire after we finish this. You know, I still have to find another job after this is done.